mi gente! It's Mariluz here, and in this video, I'm going to give you a review of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I do have my final thoughts on this, so let's get right into it. So this foundation retails for $14.99 for 1.0 fluid ounces. I got mine at Ulta because I did went to Walmart and Target to get it, and I didn't find it there. This foundation comes in 45 different shades, which I think is amazing, and I believe it should be like a standard for any foundation releases. I've had the problem many times where I want to try a foundation but it just doesn't come on my shades but I'm glad that this foundation did release in a lot of shades so it can cater to a lot more people however it was still difficult to find my shade on this foundation I believe at this stage in my life I'm already comfortable enough to do a little bit of online research and find this shade online and you know pinpoint which one should be my shade with this one I didn't have that luck I still had to go to the Ulta store and test it thank god they had testers so I compared it with my Estee Lauder double wear and I ended up picking the shade Nutra buff and I believe it matches me very well now this foundation also has really great claims it claims to have a 24 hour wear it claims to be full coverage to be matte finish lightweight shine proof waterproof and that it's good for like combination oily normal and sensitive skin so i've tried this foundation way too many times and i'm glad i did because my first impressions were not good the first time i tried this foundation i was so horrified i didn't pick it up for like two weeks until i was like you know what let me just test it out again with different products different techniques to see how it works out i think i found the perfect way how to wear this so here's what i think about this foundation first of all it is very very matte like completely matte it's flat matte no shine whatsoever which can be a good thing but it can also be a bad thing so if you're dry skin this is not going to work for you because i believe it does cling to your dry patches so even if you're in normal combination or anything like that make sure that you don't have any dry patches or that you moisturize before you do when i first tried this i kind of tried a mattifying primer and i can't do that with this foundation so if you're oily skin and you're used to use mattifying primers or something that will like take this shine away from your skin it won't work with this foundation it's going to be too flat too matte for you the other thing that i also learned with this foundation is you can't use it with a brush and that's why i was so horrified at the beginning because i love 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 to use brushes but with this foundation i cannot do that so i always like to use it with my beauty blender with a beauty blender i feel like it's so much easier to blend compared to using a foundation brush i have used different foundation brushes and none of them work i mean it's not that it doesn't work at all like it's there's no way to work with this foundation but it just takes so much time you can see the brush strokes you have to blend very very well in order to make it work so with a beauty blender it's just more easier and it looks a lot better now because i noticed it was a very very matte foundation i tried to prep my skin in a way that it will work so i started testing it out and the first thing i did was i used mac fix plus and then I used my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the original one. And then I went to the foundation. It doesn't look bad, but I believe it just looks better when I just use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You also have to make sure that you take care of your skin. Like, you're very on top of your skincare. I feel like the more my skin looks good underneath, like without makeup, the better this foundation looks like. So if you have a lot of problematic skin, it might not work well for you. you know, the first time I used this foundation that it worked, I did have some some little things that I didn't like about it but the more I was on top of my skincare the better the foundation kept looking with each use another thing that I learned is that I can bake with it you guys know that I like to use my RCMA no color powder to bake like underneath my eyes and you'll set my concealer and probably like my smile line so nothing creases but when I do that I feel like the powder just sticks to the foundation and when I'm trying to swipe away even blending with a damned beauty blender it just doesn't work it still looks white, it still looks weird, so then I have to apply MAC Fix Plus to make that work and make that sink into my foundation. And I don't like to use setting sprays or finishing sprays because I feel like it just makes me more oily during the day. So what I have been doing is I have been using a fluffy brush and just patting, you know, like dusting a little bit of translucent powder all over, even on my concealer. And I feel like that's the best way it works. Also, the bottle instructs you to shake it well, and I believe you should shake it well because it could probably separate 
I don't know. I think that's the reason they have the disclaimer right there, but I always shake it. I haven't used it without shaking it, so I can't tell the difference. But anyways, I have used this foundation a couple of times at work. I've had six to 12 hour days at work, and I believe it looks really good at the end of the day. It probably separates a little bit like under my nostrils right here. Also, when I try to use a MAC Fix Plus underneath, I feel like just little dots on my pores will come out, or it was probably the translucent powder, who knows. But the way that I use it now it just looks very good from start to finish i am going to give you guys a wear test i'm probably going to use this foundation for like about maybe eight hours but so far i started doing this makeup like around 12 and don't judge me it's around 2 p.m i'm going to uh, put my phone right there it's 1 59 in the afternoon i do have a couple things to do mostly around the house like clean the house and do laundry and stuff like that eating because i haven't had breakfast yet i know i'm lately i've been having breakfast later in the day or like my sister would say don't call that breakfast just it'll be lunch i know it'll be lunch i'm weird and john comes home like in around maybe three hours or so he told me he wanted to go to universals today so i'm not too sure if he'll do that but if you do, I'll keep you posted. Okay guys, it is 3.35 in the afternoon. I've had this foundation for around maybe three to four hours. I wanted to sit down and show you how my makeup is looking so far. Because I'm oily skin, I can tell, I can totally tell when my oils are coming out of my face and I get a little oily. It looks like a natural glow. Actually, it doesn't look like very nasty, but at this point, I like to blot a little bit on my face. But before I do that, I want to show you a little bit up close. Hey, are we close enough? <laughs> so here is how it's looking. If you see it up close, you can see I'm a little bit oily. And this is where I have the most problems, like on the middle of my nose. Like it looks a little bit like not cakey but like it's separating a little bit right over here as well you could probably not tell at this point because it's too recent i just have this makeup for four hours but gradually it starts breaking up like or on the sides of my nose and stuff like that i do have a little bit of tissues from toilet paper because i'm not going to pretend i don't do this at work <laughs> i go between toilet paper and kleenex it all depends where i'm at at the moment but i'm going to just take a little bit of toilet paper and i'm going to pat my face but I do want to do this in front of you guys. So this is what I do all the time. It doesn't matter which foundation I use. I always take like a tissue. I like to go like in the middle of my nose here. And there it is. So it's not looking too bad. You can see, I mean, it's not taking too much of my foundation. With other foundations like the NARS foundation, if I were to do this, I would have a lot of foundation in the tissue and it would transfer over. But as you can see, I'm just blotting and only my oils are coming out, not much of the foundation. So I feel like it's really good. I've only cleaned the house a little bit, you know, like, I've done laundry and I've passed vacuum. I did breakfast or lunch, I would say. <laughs> and I think I'm going to wait for John to come over. I think he's about to get out of work. So he'll be here like in an hour or so. Fingers crossed because he always gets like a bunch of customers at the end and sometimes he gets like really caught up at work and can't come soon enough. But probably going to get some coffee, use like a coffee day, probably go to Target, Walmart and run some errands. But whatever I do, I'll keep you updated and I'll let you know how the makeup is looking throughout the day. Okay guys, it is 6.13 in the evening. I went and got some coffee. Oh, I love this. This is the Nitro Cold Brew with sweet cream and I always like to put either two pumps of hazelnut or four pumps of hazelnut i put two pumps of hazelnut this time because i'm trying to lower my carb count in my macros i'm doing keto if you don't know what what that is you can go and look it up on google but i feel like with two pumps of hazelnut it's better for me now i did went like this to starbucks and i felt a little oily but i didn't want to blot because i wanted to show you how my face is looking so far so this is how my face is looking actually i feel like it looks more oily than it normally does usually it doesn't get this oily but i feel like maybe i blot more during the day this is my second time blotting since i started wearing this foundation it actually doesn't look completely bad i don't think like it looks horrible i do feel a little bit uncomfortable because it's like getting too oily but i just blot again and just i keep going with my day this is what i do at work so i'm going to blot again and we'll see how it's looking I'm actually very gentle when I blot because I don't want to move the foundation around. It doesn't matter which type of foundation I use, I always try to be careful. Don't know if you can tell, but it's 
getting a little bit crusty around my nose and i think that's the only area that it really bothers me about this foundation but consider that is a drugstore foundation and i have really really oily skin i believe it just looks very well i don't i, I don't have any complaints about it i think my face is still looking good my eyeshadow looks amazing by the way and there's a tutorial coming over <laughs> but so far so good i'm actually having a great sunday with my husband we went into a coffee date like i showed you but i think we're going to uh to home depot now <laughs> I just needed to come in and film real quick for you guys and then I'm going to go like window shopping if you will and I will come back before the end of the night and I will show you exactly how this is looking. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little scary. At this point, I think I look a little gross, I don't like it. Now it is 9.55 at night and I've only blotted twice during the day. I'm going to blot again for the third time but I don't know. I still feel like only around the nose it's looking a little weird. Now I do want to blot so you know how it's looking afterwards. I do have another sheet of toilet paper. Now in terms of the claims, I do believe it lives up to the expectation except for the 24 hour test. I mean, I don't think this lasts for 24 hours, but I'm still comfortable wearing for a whole work day. Now compared to other drugstore foundations, I believe this foundation is really good. So I'm comfortable recommending it to you. But with a condition and this condition only, you have to try it first and see what works for you. I wouldn't recommend it to use it with a brush. I wouldn't recommend it with a mattifying primer or anything mattifying underneath the foundation. So if you get to buy this foundation, please try it first and see what works for you in terms of application and skin prep before you even go out. I mean, I don't have a problem with blotting during the day because I'm only skin. I'm always used to blotting no matter what foundation I use. It's not like I'm going to blot every two hours. So I guess that's all I wanted to say about this foundation. If you have any other questions questions that i didn't answer on this video let me know in the comment section below and i'll respond to them as always thank you so much for watching you guys if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on my next video bye